So I have a strong magnet here. It's a neodymium magnet. It can lift about 20, 25 pounds. And I have the zinc that was taken from the inside of a penny. And we want to test to see if this zinc right here, and this is pure zinc, is magnetic. And if we take it and touch it to the very strong neodymium magnet, there's no interaction. So we can pretty definitively say zinc's not magnetic. But something happens kind of interesting when we move the magnet around the zinc, and it's called the Lentz effect. So watch closely. If I touch it, you'll hear a slight noise. What I'm going to do is move the magnet over the zinc as close as I can without touching it. And watch what happens. It turns out that by moving the magnet over this metal, over zinc and over many other metals like aluminum and copper, I set up a little bit of an electrical current. And that electrical current has a magnetic field. So the magnetic field set up in here by the motion of the strong magnet acts in the opposite direction of the neodymium magnet. So they kind of push each other away. So by moving the neodymium magnet, it's almost like I have two magnets and they're both kind of a north and a north and they repel each other. And that's why I'm able to move the zinc with a magnet even though zinc itself is not magnetic.